standing forces exercise to demonstrate our capability to deploy as an alert contingency MAGTAF within two to four hours and seize key terrain within a contested maritime environment. The ways that we're showing our lethality with the Marine Corps is being able to fight as light infantry unsupported for three to four days in a contested maritime environment. We're conducting EABO to dominate the contested littoral spaces and what makes it important is near peer competitors want to take those spaces and we're going to prove them that they can. It doesn't matter what the next future fight looks like. Victor 1-2 specifically is going to be ready for that fight. At the drop of a hat, we could be called and we are ready. Standing Force Exercise just showcases some of the key skills and functional areas of warfighting maneuver that are going to be required to infiltrate some of those environments in order to set conditions for naval task to come through or a larger land force uh, to conduct actions inside of those regions. Since I've been out here in 3rd Marine Division, I think that every operation we've done does exactly that. Every single thing we do, no matter if it's a platoon going to the field to conduct and distribute operations, if it's conducting aerial inserts, aerial resupplies, uh, maritime operations with our boat platoon and boat company, CIFX itself, those other operations, they're just showcasing that the Marine Corps is ever evolving, that we're going to be ready for the next fight, no matter what it looks like.